Well, hey friends, thanks for stopping in. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate your visit. And also if you've been here before and this has just notified you of this new video, I appreciate you subscribing. It helps me to grow the channel. So today we're gonna get into how to make a uh, end grain cutting board. So let's get into it. Okay, and to get started, uh, we're just going to rough cut some stock. And the greatest thing about some of these uh, projects is um, you can recover, you know, drops from other projects that you've had in the past to do something like this. And here I'm just setting up the table saw to make the cuts uh, approximately the same width as, or the same thickness as the board itself. Um, helps to reduce any later machining time if you can. Uh, get this you know relatively close so it's less time on the thickness planer less time sanding um, you know and just helps to let you start to visualize the board itself so once we're off the table saw we're going to move on over to mill the lumber and what I'm doing here is just speeding this up but essentially I'm uh, using the thickness planer on the faces and then flipping them 90 degrees and uh, just getting all the sides. And this is glue up number one and so what's happening here is you just take all those strips that you have cut and milled and you're just gonna uh, arrange them in some clamps and uh, don't spare any glue here. This is important because you you really won't get a chance to go back and repair any glue starved joints here. And as you probably have seen in um, you know many other examples of cutting boards, Type Bond 3 is food safe and is uh, generally considered to be the, the go-to for uh, food grade uh, type projects. And then here, uh, because this panel now is wider than my thickness planer is, uh, I'm using my CNC machine to flatten um, this pan, this glue up panel and uh, the next step that you'll see it's important to make sure that you have a flat surface uh, at least on the bottom so that when you go to cut these strips um, you know for the next steps you're starting with a flat surface that's going to help you have um, more precision in your work so uh, this is a neat way to to um, you know flatten out a board Okay, so now that we're flattened out, um, this panel has come over to um, my table saw again. And what you see me doing here is cutting down strips that will be used, um, you know, in the next glue up. And so I've started with my cross cut sled. And then as it gets smaller, I'm going to transition over to um, just using the table saw fence now that I've got everything squared up. Okay, and at this point we have our strips into our end grain configuration and this drum sander makes light work of doing just a final pass to get the correct thickness and a good surface. And then I'm just going to bring the uh, bring the individual strips over to my table saw for a little arrangement just for aesthetics. And then we're over into the clamping. So now this is the first time that you're seeing what the uh, cutting board is going to look like in its final configuration um, and so again just some care to be taken here to not use too little glue um, because again you, you can't take it back apart um, if you have not applied enough glue and you know you're going to see uh, that what I'll do is I'll take a wet towel and deal with any squeeze out just so that it's not uh, any harder than it needs to be to clean up once we're done um, so certainly um, take your time here make sure that you have good alignment you know with your cutting board shape and um, then, then use alternating clamps just to make sure that you, you're not pulling the board um, in too far one direction uh, or the other um, it'll help you with later making sure that it's flat okay and so now that we have the panel glued up up in its end grain configuration uh, we're going to go back to the CNC and the first thing I'm going to do is use um, my CNC to cut the juice groove and what you're going to notice here is that this panel is oversized compared to my ending dimensions so um, you'll see that this 
um, juice groove is going to get cut not very close to the edge but inset quite a bit. Um, the neat thing about this is that I've done a number of cutting boards and there was a time where I did 30 at a time um, last year as Christmas presents and this was before I had a CNC machine to help me with some of these operations. Um, so what you see here is I'm zeroing the machine first with a quarter inch end mill and then this is a cove or bowl bit that's gone in um, and this is going to zip around the board and bring me a nice smooth and accurate um, juice groove. And then the next operation and I save this for last because there's more lateral pressure against the workpiece when it's cutting the profile but I'm using a cadence manufacturing Jenny bit here it's a up down bit or a compression bit um, and this is where this bit really shines because when you're cutting hardwoods like this you really at least in my mind I don't want to take too aggressive a depth of cut but this Jenny bit um, because the transition from the up cut to the down cut is only a hundred thousandths deep into the bit I don't have to take a super deep pass uh, in order to take advantage of that compression bit um, but what you're gonna see here as I go around is that I'm actually using the CNC machine to cut in um, you know rounded corners but also it gives just a super clean cut uh, and I'll have links below to the where you could purchase a Jenny bit I don't have any affiliation um, no coupon code to share with you but I will tell you that this is by far my favorite compression bit um, because of the way that it operates so well and once that's done we're gonna come off and we're just gonna give it a quick pass on my router table and I'm just gonna ease the edges I think this might have been a 3 8 inch um, round over and um, you know just just a very light you know some people get aggressive you can certainly put in um, you know a 45 degree undercut or bevel uh, whatever whatever style you like that's what you should apply when it's all said and done okay and then once we're done shaping uh, and easing the edges here just a quick bath through some mineral oil or whatever you like to use for uh, conditioning wood that's food safe and you've got yourself a beautiful cutting board. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your time and would just ask if you like the video and uh, would consider subscribing if you find it valuable. Thanks and have a great day.